This time, I'm in a pinwheel flower garden. What do you think of that? And we're going to be reading something that has to do with wind. That's why the wind for the pinwheels. I have to turn this a little bit to get it to my, <laughs> my face. It takes a lot of wind to make this one go, but watch how this one goes. Because it's smaller, it won't take as much effort. Pinwheels. There's something you can make, but you can also buy them. Even at a, a dollar store you could buy pinwheels. They're getting out their summer things. Sometimes you'll see them there. The book that I'm reading to you today is called Bear Feels Scared. Now, this author, uh, Carmen Wilson, she does a lot of, of bear stories, and the main character has things happen to them. And when they do, the, f the book titles reflect that. So he may be scared, he may be hungry, he may be um, quiet or sad. Those are the words that they use to describe him. Here again is our spine, and here is where you would look to find the Wilson name for this author. So she would be with all the W's. W-I-L is what you would look for on the spine. And then you would find all of these books, and there are quite a few. They're so darling. Let's get started. Here's the wind blowing through the woods. I see leaves blowing. I see wind and rain. Oh, excuse my wallpaper, my woodpecker is in the woods too. That's part of our clock that we have in our activity lab. Bear feels scared. That's your title page. In the deep dark woods by the strawberry veil, a bear, well a big bear lumbers down a small crooked trail. And Bear's tummy growls as he looks for a snack. But it's cold, 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 so the bear turns back. He's not home yet when the sun starts to set and the bear feels scared. If we were reading this together, we would all say that phrase, and the bear feels scared. So you can do that along with me as we go through the book. Bear snakes, oh, and he shivers, and as he shakes, and as a storm starts to howl, and the bear mutters, what is that? Are there spooks on the prowl? I suppose if he heard the wind howl, it kind of went like, ooh, ooh, because it was so blowy and so strong. The path gets dimmer, and the sky grows gray, and Bear looks to and fro, but he can't find his way. He huddles by a tree, and he wails, Oh, poor me! And the bear feels scared. Can we say that together? And the bear feels scared. Meanwhile, back in the warm, cozy lair, friends start to worry for their poor, lost bear. These are all of his friends that sometimes are in the other books. It is late, Mouse squeaks, and the bear doesn't. He doesn't roam. He's, there's a storm, cries Hare. Shouldn't Bear be home? Wren tweets from his perch, and he must, oh, we must all go and search. That's what we'll do. What if the bear feels scared? What if the bear feels scared? The friend bundle up and they begin to prepare and they form a search party for their lost friend bear. But bear is all alone and he sheds big tears and there's a noise in the forest and he feels big fears. And Bear trembles in the wind. How he longs for a friend. Are you ready? And the bear feels scared. Badger lights a lamp. 
and he shouts, let's go. All the birds searched high while the rest searched low. And with a flounce and a flutter, they set off together and they trudged down the trail through the wild, wet weather. They called, Ho oh, Bear, are you there? Are you there? And the bear feels scared. And I think he is scared. But he perks up his ears. Is that, oh, I think it's Mole calling out. And is that Hare's voice? And does Bear hear him shout? Oh, Ran and Owl and, and Little Raven all squawked from the sky. It is Bear, he is there. And they sighed a big sigh. By a tree waits Bear, 10 feet from his lair. And the Bear looks scared. And with a flap and a flurry, all the friends gathered near and gave him big bear hugs, and they calmed his bear fears. Do you see his big surprise eyes? That could also be that he's frightened, afraid, he's scared. Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Bear always likes to tell stories, and his friends come to hear them. Cuddle up tight, they snore through the night, and the bear feels safe.